So, I like literally just posted my other box opening, like, today, and the... Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't even see! It's so big! <laughs> so this is... This is my soul doll. This is a uh, Phoenix. I've been waiting for him. I ordered him at the end of September and it's end of January, so actually not too bad. It was only about four months. I can math. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. So Miss Sarah is feeling cozy, so she's got her blankie on her. <laughs> um, I only got four hours of sleep, so I'm really heckin' tired, especially because, like, I went to work today, like, actually physically went into school. Our kids are still remote, um, but I went in and I basically had to prep materials to send home to families, get all the families to come and pick them up. Um, I'm a special education teacher, so I had meetings, and then I also had training, and I'm just, that was a lot to do on four hours of sleep. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Um, and I have a special guest with me. Let's Good luck getting him in some shot, too. <laughs> so, this is my Omo Haru. He is my other soul doll. I did not do a box opening on him because it came with just his head. But he's on an MU body, which is actually supposed to be for the head that's attached to a body in this box, and that body is going to go to him. So I have him so we can do the, the switcheroo mm. So I'm very excited because he's kind of felt off and incomplete because those are actually not even his clothes. So I'm really excited because I'm completing like two dolls in this video instead of like just one. And this little one, I need to make him a wig. Um, which will probably have to wait for the weekend because I start college this week. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening. This box is so dang big that it's like I'm not gonna tilt it down until I get the other box inside of it out. Um, anyways, I don't know if I've actually like explained this in so many words on YouTube. But what I'm doing right now is called an alternative licensure. I'm like so paranoid after I cut my other boy's box. I'm like, I better not do it again. Um, so what I'm doing is an alternative licensure. So I have a degree, but it's not in teaching. So rather than doing like an undergrad degree and then student teaching what they have you do is they have you teach as a full-time teacher um, I'm gonna tilt it this way in hopes of not showing my address they actually bubble wrapped him so I wouldn't have cut his box anyways thanks little doll oh Jesus he is his box is so big you guys oh give me a sec um, he's 65 centimeters. I really need to get off the, uh, giant SD bench. Anyways, as I was saying, um, he, uh, er, what I'm doing is I'm essentially teaching and going to school at the same time. She's looking at me like, why? <laughs> uh, 
Um, anyways, there we go. Here's the standard soul doll box. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing right now is like, uh, I actually just got a text saying, your doll has been delivered. It's like, thanks. I know it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm a teacher, but I'm not like a full-fledged teacher. So I'm basically going to school part-time and working full-time. And if you don't know anything about teaching, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of uh, unpaid overtime. <laughs> so it's like a labor of love and you know we could go into endless discussions of how I think teachers aren't paid nearly enough. Why did I become a teacher? Um, but we won't go there. Just know I teach pre-K <laughs> and I love my babes to the ends of the universe, but I'm so like tired and stressed out and generally done with the universe, and so I've been consoling myself by spending way too much money on dolls. <laughs> Anyways, I almost have him unwrapped. Ow! <laughs> I just myself with the box. his certificate. I'm so excited. So he's the phoenix. Um, I think he's one of their newer models. I don't remember when specifically they released him, but he's one of the newer, they had two new Zenith dolls, which by the way, like, look at any of their Zenith dolls, and I swear, they just look like K-pop stars. If you're looking for K-pop dolls to make your own K-pop group, Soul Doll got you covered. Oh, come out! Oh, I'm gonna, like, injure myself on this box, and I'm very scared. Prying it off. I don't know why it's so tight. It feels almost like it's taped, but it's not. It's just like really, really snug fit. just keeps looking at me like, oh my god, human, what are you doing? Whew, that's meta resin. I see him. <laughs> I'm calm. No, I'm not. Well, that's nice. They 
gave me some. This looks like some thick ass plastic, yo. Look at that. That's really thick. I don't know if I use that on him. Okay. So I could probably. Soul dolls are cute. They like tie their dolls in. Dun, dun, dun. Who's a little mommy? Look at your little mommy. Okay. So I'm gonna undo the bows. give him different eyes though because I don't really like soul ball eyes. <laughs> but I bought some that I've had for a while from my favorite seller. Of course, it's really blown out because camera. And there's a blue light because camera. Anyways, they're brown. tape won't come off. <laughs> Let's see, I'll angle down so you can see the demummification process. Ow! As I cut myself. So, speaking of like K-pop boys, these aren't K-pop, but they're K, their story, they're in a K band, so like a Korean band. Well, it's a band, but their characters and story takes place in Korea. That's what I am attempting to say. Um, and this is the basis of the group. The dude I held up earlier is the guitarist. He's kind of my little edgy boy. Wow. Oh, they gave a lot of shading under his lip. He almost looks like he's got a little, little goatee going. Ooh, so I can't even tell. It's probably so blown out. I'm sorry, y'all. One of these days, I'll like. I have a decent camera, but I'm just. It's so much work. I'm <laughs> like. I'm just trying to have fun. <laughs> I ain't trying to hustle. I do enough of that in my daily life. So these are like generic low quality videos with Sarah. <laughs> okay. Yo, he's like really wrapped up. Okay. Oh, and he's really cold. It's like really cold outside, so he too is very cold. Oh, I love him. I have to check him though, because like, I didn't notice this at first, but my last boy that I opened... <gasps> Um, so yeah, the last boy that I opened, he too had his face plate kind of awry, and uh, I don't know if you can note, oh, maybe if I hold it up to the camera, I don't know, yeah, you can kind of see, it's not in focus, but there's a chip on his eyebrow, gosh darn it, so... And I noticed a chip on my other boy's lip, so I was kind of really bummed about that. He is really cold, yo. Um, 
Alright, genius. What did you do with the thing? There it is. You gave me some eye putty, so I guess I'll use it, eh? Um. But anyways, I think... We'll see if that chip even shows. I think it'll be something I can fix pretty easily and painlessly. It's just kind of a bummer, like... That's, you know, two face-ups I paid for that have come chipped now. But his hands are in one piece, so... Yay there! Because I've also had two dolls come broken. <laughs> okay... You can't see, I'm like flailing because it's me. Y'all know me. Things I always forget to grab. Well, we can use this actually, this will be fine. I'm gonna switch their heads right now. Actually, I may. Mean, baby had things to say. She's very talkative, you see. I'm just gonna, gonna poke an eye out very carefully. Uh, oh, I don't, okay, so I have acrylic nails, and this putty gets stuck under my nails, and so I'm trying to poke it out, but it's cold, so it's not working. Story of my life. Ugh. Face-up's already chipped. Bailey. Not right now, puppy. She pushes her way into my room, then she gets butt hurt when I shut my door, and it's like, you know, I'm talking to the YouTubes right now. <laughs> this is like the slowest I I just dropped putty. Gosh darn it. Oh my god. This is driving me nuts. Go out. Thank you. Finally, one eye out. So yeah, I just... Soldal eyes feel very, like, flat to me. And they don't look right unless you're looking directly on them. So I tend to replace them. Um, Even if it's like the color I intended to use. Alright, one eye down. Here comes the next. Gotta be very careful. Okay, that one popped out easier. Okay. Now. So I haven't made his wig yet, but I have my ugly wig. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll put on him until I make his wig. Because when you work as a teacher, you have no life. Uh, yep. His eyelash is coming off. Cool. Cool, 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 cool! Uh, it probably happened when I took his eye off, though. Or, yeah, actually this probably happened when I took his eye off, because... Mm. Eyelashes are easy fixes. It's chips that aren't as easy. Okay. So these eyes are from my favorite Etsy seller. I probably talked about them before. These are Soul in a Box doll eyes. And they're resin eyes. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, they're super realistic and beautiful. Um, so I tend to 
buy them for all my boys and girls now. is fighting me tonight. He's such a pretty boy, but I am kind of mildly perturbed that two face-ups that I have purchased so far have come damaged because the, the thing that was supposed to protect their face fell off during transit. needs a little glue on the edge of his eyelash, and he'll be good as new. But for now, I want to put his eyeballs in, if they'll cooperate with me. He's a pretty boy! One, it's got some damage. There's a chip kind of right next to his eyeliner, but it's not <sighs> super noticeable. There's a chip on his eyebrow, and that's the one where the eyelash is coming unglued, so I need to glue it back on. Oh, well. Anyways, let's get this bad boy. Take just your head off, because I don't really... So I made this wig. Tis alpaca. There it is. Thank you. Ah, that's why it wasn't coming off, because there was putty there. Okay. So, this boy... Look at his face up. He's like... Oh no. That's a bit better. He's got a super dark face up. <sighs> Anyways, they're gonna switch bodies. <laughs> so this pretty bean gonna go on this body. There we go. And this body actually is not like the right color. Soldal has a very pink resin and this is a very yellow toned resin. But, oh well. <laughs> And I'm just going to put the ugly wig on him, so we can see him in style, kind of. He's going to be blonde, so this is a better match for him than it was for my other boy, but my other boy finally got his wig, so I can take the ugly one off of him. And to be honest, it's just a very low quality fur wig. It has nothing to do with anything in particular. I bought it for cheap because it was cheap. So, and I just don't have time to make him 
stuff on a weeknight. Um, maybe I'll be able to do like a couple steps here and there. Anyways, this is yeah. This is Mean June. He's so pretty, but this wig is awful. <laughs> Um, but he will be blonde. It's just gonna be slightly, slightly different. Um, and I still gotta do some tattoos on him. But I got his body before I got him, and I got Jaehwan's head before I got this body. So I kinda put two and two together for the minute. <laughs> Alright, so... That's him. I'll brush it out a little more later, but I'm gonna make him a wig so he he won't be wonky forever. He's just wonky for now. Now let's complete Jihuan. Coax the S hook. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Oh, I'm gonna have to brush this hair again. Alright, my beautiful emo boy. He's like low key doing the splits, showing the world his. Hey, nanner nanner. <laughs> so, it's a good thing you can't see him. Oh my god, I love him. Okay. So, here's... I will give him some shame. Here's Jaehwan. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, he's supposed to be a bit taller, so, like, I'm glad to finally have the right body for him, but... Oh, Minjun, you need some work, my heart. Alright, so... Oh, I should have put his shirt on before I put his head on. <laughs> oh well! <laughs> okay. Again, contortion dressing with Sarah. These dudes, though, let me tell you, they got some chonk-ass shoulders. They are thick boys. Oh, Minjun just fell over. <laughs> he couldn't handle life. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at him. He's supposed to be, like, a little... He's supposed to be a little edgy. Um, and he will have, just in case you're curious, oh, and let me know if you want me to do, I know I haven't even put my other, <laughs> my other tattoo video up, but let me know if you want to do, want me to do, like, watch me work stuff. Um, I tried to do some watch me work with wigs, but let me tell you, wig making is just a hot mess and kind of frustrating in general, but he's going to have a tattoo here, Minjun is also going to have a tattoo across his back, um... And then Mean June's also gonna have one on his wrist. And I think he'll probably have one probably like around here. Um so I got plans for the boys. Now the question. Are these the right size pants? Or are these like they look right? So I bought a ton of pants. Some for 60 centimeters, some for 70 centimeters. Oh, this is going to be a butt. They have holes down the whole front of them, so he's just going to be, like, poking his toes through every single hole. <sighs> Alright, boy. Have some chill in your life. I know. You just want to be edgy. Um, but yeah, I bought a ton of pants all at once, 
and I forgot what was what and who went with who. So like, I think these were some of the longer ones. <laughs> so we'll find out real quick if they fit him or not. Because I also stole, I bought two pairs for him, and I stole one pair for uh, Hide, who was still wearing them because his shirt arrived, but his pants didn't arrive. Oh, sweet Virginia, these are going to be tight. Oh, oh you're padonk donk Come on, boy. Work them thighs. <laughs> oh, no. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. These will fit, I just need to get them over the butt. <laughs> All right. Oh, Oh lord. Okay. So I think, in fact, these are uh, 60 centimeter pants. So, I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> until my other beautiful boy's pants arrive. Because, like, look, they're perfect length. They're just like. Bro got thighs that don't lie. And like, I can't button it. <laughs> we'll just cover it for now. He's, he's letting himself free. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, ultimate edge. I got him like little jewelry too. Dun, dun. Oh, Spike Lord. And, um, I didn't do a box opening on them, but I did purchase some instruments, two guitars actually, because I'm going to mod the larger one to be a bass. Um, so, more future projects. Okay. I put another one of these on one of my other dolls, and they drive me nuts because never will all the spikes point outwards. Every time you flip one, another one flips inwards. Okay. No. No. Behave. Okay. Okay. I'm not touching it. Okay, so, let me put, I don't even know if I should put his shoes on because, like, his pants don't fit. <laughs> oh, I may have to switch the pants. Now I know these will probably work better for, who's my what's it? My other boys. They're all gonna share clothes anyways, so I've just been kind of like buying, buying stuff. Here we go. Go on. Pretty please. Go on. And one of the things that I'm gonna have to do with my model doves, because they're uh, they're a little chunkier than like most MSDs, is I'm gonna have to mod their pants too to like add a little bit of elastic so I may actually I have some black elastic because I have another actually you know what I wonder if it's just this pant design because I have these pants in a smaller size and they're gonna be super tight too anyways what I'm trying to get to is I will have to mod the pants because they will uh The, the uh, amount of titties in this shirt. <laughs> I love it. Um, Alright, so let me bring my other boy back. Oh, he fell over, can you tell? Okay, so, yeah, and like, here, here's a 60 centimeter next to a 65 centimeter. 
so you can kind of see the difference. Um, but these are my two boys. This is Minjun, this is Jaehwan. I have two more who are in the same story. One is the singer, he's my little pink haired boy. One is the drummer, he's my blue haired boy. They are um, Hyungu and Junjae, uh, respectively. But yeah. Um, yo. Alpaca is so soft, like, I have a love-hate relationship with it, um, but it is very nice to pet. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I have a ton of videos to come. Here are my beautiful boys. I'm so happy. Um, you probably, you just probably heard in, uh, sound maybe we'll see <laughs>